Hello, just getting back in from work. Oh, it's long, long, long days. Um, but it's the weekend. And I know what you're thinking, or you're wondering. Did he go back to Walmart and get some of those Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Well, I went to Walmart. And yes, they were still marked as $8.47. But, I'm not greedy. <laughs> so, I grabbed one figure, and I went and I scanned it. Still came up as $9.97, so I'm like, awesome. I go to the cash with the figure. Obviously, it comes up at $9.97. I say, it says $8.47 on the shelf. And she's like, would you like me to call toys? And I'm like, well, yeah. I wouldn't have brought it up otherwise. <laughs> right? Like, so she calls nobody. And then eventually somebody comes over and she goes, oh, can you check on this? And the person goes back and um, she confirms that it, there's a whole bunch of them, 847, but they're all different and stuff. Uh, and it might be in there. Um, so she'll give it, you know give it to me and I'm, I'm like whatever I'll, I'll take the 847 and I'm glad I only grabbed the one figure um, but according to Walmart's scanning code of practice I should get ten dollars off or if the item is less than ten dollars I should get it for free so I should have gotten it for free but I'm a nice guy whatever didn't uh, force the issue if you will um, I'm sure they're probably just told to you know if there's a price difference ring it up um, I think I've only had one cashier at the time who didn't question or anything like that just started punching stuff in and it was funny because the item I was getting was um, priced higher on the shelf but it actually had on the sticker was lower so it had a sticker on the item that was lower than it was on the shelf and the shelf price was the right price why they they didn't take the price tag off i don't know but you know i got up there and it rang up at you know say whatever 1997 and a sticker says fifteen dollars and i was like it says fifteen dollars so she starts putting it through and of course they need to get a manager to authorize that and the manager comes over and she's like uh what is it that you need for it? and she's explains the situation she's like no no when it's priced differently on the actual package you just give it to them for the price which is right because the scanning code of practice is if it's on an un like if the unpriced item like there's no price on the actual packaging then you get this thing comes into effect so the manager was in fact right at the time but I almost got something for like I think it was almost free <laughs> when it came down to it um, but uh, yeah, so this time they only put it through at 847. Didn't actually follow their own scanning code of practice. It should automatically, yeah, whatever. She voided it and then typed it in and did a manual change. And it's one of those things where it's automatically like the computer should come up and say, Is this a scanning code of practice? Are you blah blah blah? And it should, you know, yes. And so do the uh, calculation automatically. Um, I'm sure there's something in there that they can do. It's because I, I don't think they're doing it in their head trying to figure this stuff out. I'm sure there's a button. But anyways, I didn't press it, like I said. But I did get myself a metalhead. So, it's a robot turtle. And, uh, yeah, that's from Series 1. You can see in the back here. Metal head. Still haven't seen uh, Dog Pound there, or Krang, or Fish Face, or April O'Neil. Everybody else here I have seen there. So, getting closer, closer and closer and closer. Um, but uh, yeah, it looks like I'm probably going to be paying $10 uh, for Turtles now. Um, Though, uh, admittedly, I don't think they changed the price. It, it's as many times as I come up, and you know, it's twice now that I've said, you know, the price is different. The price is different because because of this whole UPCs are different for each figure. Nobody seems to realize that 
everything's correctly merchandised and the pricing on them is is proper it's just you know an old price and it hasn't been updated but they keep thinking it's just a misplaced item like the product was in the wrong home and as is the case oh it the product is practically the same but the you know it's in the wrong home but we'll give it to you for that price is their their mentality you know and the, you know whatever that's that's customer service i don't agree with that particular customer i'm i'm sorry if an item is in the wrong home unless it's like the entire thing of items so unless whatever so this DVD there was 12 copies of this DVD and the price in front of it said I don't know DVD some some DVD and you know they were all the wrong price unless that thing in front of it that price tag in front of it is similar enough to this if it just said DVD and it had the wrong different price on it fine you get that if it said um, Independence Day DVD I'm sorry I don't care if you have 24 of these things in that spot Independence Day and Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance are not the same thing shouldn't get those those prices you, know, you don't get that price man I'm sorry no no but here's the thing if it says something like Asia DVD or uh, old boy even if it said old boy then maybe maybe I'd probably give it to you but it has to be close enough to it yeah I mean sometimes at work like just to go off on a, a tangent why not right you're watching you don't want to watch or you want to hear me talking right so to go off on a tangent like Sometimes we have people, and they will literally come up, you know, um, and say, but the home had, you know, says, you know, the such and such a price. So, you know, I get, I'll get called and be like, okay, I'll take a look. And I'm like, I can't find this price anywhere. And so, you know, the customer wants to get whatever price was on the shelf. They'll come over, and, you know, they'll, they'll point to wherever they found it, and I'm like, say, I don't know, like we have a whole aisle full of grass seed. So they have grass seed and they picked up this grass seed bag where mice control, like mouse control stuff is mice traps and, and poisons and stuff. And clearly somebody had put one or two bags or whatever down in a home that was probably emptied already so there's no more of that product and you know they want to get this twenty dollar bag of grass seed for the seven ninety nine that's on the shelf and they'll argue it they'll argue it but no it says on the shelf it's seven ninety nine I'm like I'm sorry ma'am but the seven ninety nine is for a mouse trap that's not a mouse trap that's grass seed what <laughs> in this particular area of the store makes you think that there should be grass seed right here but no some people will argue and argue and argue and you know what I've had some managers who you know what they're like me they won't bow down they'll be like that's fine you don't need to return to the store <laughs> if you don't if you don't want to pay that you don't have to buy anything that's that's not a problem and then I've had some managers who are just like oh, not a whatever I'll give it to you for $7.99 There's good customer service, and then there's dickhead customers. If there's a mistake, yes. Good customer service says, we're sorry about the mistake. Yes, we will honor that price. But if you want to get something because it's cheaper, but it's not the same thing, I'm sorry, as a customer, you're a dick. If I point to you and say, that says mouse trap and you go I don't care I still want it for $7.99 you're a dick and you don't you know what I don't even want to talk to you I've had people I've had people literally who have come in there and said 
called me liars and you know like basically said I was I was trying to you know collude with them and all this kind of stuff and be like dude I haven't done anything I'm not saying you didn't find your product here or anything you know wherever you're saying you found it I'm just saying your product is not that's not what that is it's this one over here I haven't touched anything I haven't moved anything I haven't done anything here's the prices here's what you have in your hand here's where it should be here's what the price is I haven't changed the price I didn't magically change the price on the shelf I'm not trying to pull a fast one on you I have nothing to gain by that I don't make any extra money by you know getting you to spend $17.99 instead of the $14.99 you thought it was I don't make any extra money doing that so some eh, customers can be dicks what can I say man I've had some guy and I literally got up and he, he, he and it's odd you know what I almost never with Asian people I almost never have that problem with Asian people this guy was he was Chinese and he he was he was adamant adamant and you know what he was you know I'm just sitting there and I'm biting my lip I'm biting my lip not saying anything man not saying anything and the guy literally comes at and, and he, he's like what you 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 have a problem you all, you look like you have a problem right and he's already he's called me a liar he's called me like you know out to get him all this kind of stuff and that you know I, I'm doing something and I was just like I just I let I let loose and I the guy had literally been going on I he, he wasn't even trying to get the price anymore he was calling me like all this shit and excuse my language but it really pissed me off and I bit my lip and then you know what he asked me he truly asked me so I let it I I let into him you know and then the guy came by and he's like you know one of the other co-workers and he, he started going you know this guy's going off blah 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 he's, he's going you know saying I'm calling him a liar and all this kind of stuff and you know trying to explain what he thinks I've done and the other guy was like why would he do that he has nothing to gain from that like seriously like he doesn't make more he's not making commission here he's not making extra money for s stealing two dollars out of your pocket you know seriously you've literally just spent like five ten minutes berating this you know employee and so he's giving it back to you <laughs> And yeah, I did. Whatever, he paid full price. He paid the price. I, I don't get it. I, he, maybe he was having a bad day? I do not know. But that was the one time I have led into a customer, and it's because of that reason, man. And, it, and, and he called me out. And he was completely wrong. Completely wrong. I've had, I had a customer today who was completely wrong. You know? And I said, we don't sell that. And he's like, no, you do. Yes, you do. I saw it on the website. And I was like, L literally, we don't. We have tents that, you know, like a certain thing that are could be as big as you're describing. But for what you're asking for, I don't have that size. He's like, no, no, I know you do because I've seen it on your website. So I was like, well, I don't know what I don't know what to say because I can't pull it. I can't get it because I know we don't have it. So he's like pulled out his phone he's like I'll show you scrolling through scrolling through scrolling through scrolling through he's like no well maybe you're right the only things I can find are exactly what you said <laughs> no shit I've been working there for long enough I think I should know what the hell's going on you know it's like somebody would go yeah. Sympathy for I'm I'm here to get that sympathy for Mr. Vengeance DVD. You know the one that was put out by uh, Sony Pictures um, from the director of Independence Day. Uh, no, sir. I think that was an Asia Extreme uh, release. Uh, he was the director of Old Boy, um, and I believe in Canada it was Alliance uh, releasing that. Uh, uh, released it. No, 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 I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was the guy who directed Independence Day. Um. No? Park 
Shan Wook did not do Independence Day. Now, if I don't know, I will say I don't know. But if I do know and I tell you it, don't call me a liar. I don't take too kindly to be called a liar. But I got Metalhead. Yeah! <laughs> Anyways, thanks for letting me rant. I had to get it off my chest. So, I'll probably tell that story another time. Maybe another hundred videos down the road. But until the next time, you guys take care. Have a good one.